Welcome to this section of the course where we're going to talk about the derivative and the integral of the exponential function. You see, the first part of the class, the whole DVD set here, we've talked about how to take a derivative of the fairly basic functions. And then I taught you how to take the derivative of, of or rather, the integral of the fairly basic functions. And now we're getting into a little bit more of the advanced stuff. And we're going to go backfill and show you how to take the derivative and the integral of some of the more um, complicated function like exponents, exponentials rather, in this um, section, and then later on logarithms and other things. And so we're going to get into some of the, well, it's not really any harder, it's just different rules you have to look at. So let me go ahead and explain that to you right now. And you might want to write some of this down, or maybe you'll have your book open to this section and, and maybe you'll see it. Um, I'm going to write some properties kind of over here. It's not going to be too many properties, by the way. And like we've been doing through the class, I'm going to leave them up here and we're going to end up using them as we go over here and hopefully you'll remember them. It turns out that the exponential function is actually quite easy. It's very, very simple to, to remember what the derivative of the exponential function is. The derivative with respect to x of e to the x, remember e is just a number, 2.7 something, raised to the x power, this is called the exponential function, is equal to, you ready? Drum roll please e to the x. Doesn't that look weird? The derivative of the exponential function is the exponential function. It's called the indestructible function. The indest you, know, you, you can't get rid of it. You take derivative of exponents all, exponentials all day long um, and you can't get rid of it. Don't fall into the trap of trying to say this is x times e to the x minus 1. That's not going to work and that's not true. Okay. The um, formula for the derivative of like x squared, you take the exponent out um, and then you have x and you put 2 minus 1 would be 1. Well, that would be the answer. This is the derivative of an x raised to a number. This is a number raised to x. Okay, and specifically this is a very special number. It's e. Okay, so e raised to the power of x, take the derivative, get the same old thing back. It really isn't that bad. Okay, now because of this, the antiderivative of e to the x power dx, which is just the integral, is, you ready? Drum roll please, e to the x, but then of course you got this plus c hanging out you always have to have. That, my friend, is really all you're going to learn in this section of the class. We're going to work problems dealing with that. And as you can see, it's really not that bad. <laughs> it's actually one of the easiest things to learn. But what you'll find is that as you work the problems, it may not quite seem that you can use these properties so easily. So let's do some. What if you have f of x is equal to e to the square root of x? Okay? And they say, um, find the derivative. What's the derivative of this? Okay? Um, well, you have to use that um, chain rule that we had talked about. The way I like to do it right off the bat is just write it as e to the x to the one-half. I like to write all of my square roots as powers of one-half. So, the derivative, remember when you take derivatives, I told you it's like multiplying, you go in, 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 in. You take the derivative of the big picture and then you multiply by the derivative of kind of the inside and the inside and the inside. The big picture going on here is the fact that you have e, okay? So this is gonna be e to the x to the one-half, okay? times the derivative of the exponent here. The derivative of the exponent is 1 half x to the negative 1 half. 1 half com 